the alumni from Thunderbird School of Global Management. Let's meet him. Can you introduce yourself, please? Okay, my name is Drak Bosuan. So, um, as you introduced, like, uh, I graduated from Thunderbird School of Global Management since 2012. So, right now, I'm working at Gallup Consulting Firm in, based in Bangkok. So, uh, glad to be here today. Um, what what is your position? Um, for my, my current job, yes. so right now, like, um, client service management, the client service manager. So, how consultant in Gallup. Okay. Bangkok. Could you tell me about the background before you getting into um, Thunderbird? Um, yeah. Before I get got into Thunderbird, the first I graduated from Kasesa University. My major is engineer. Okay. So after my bachelor degree, I joined Tata Steel. So like it is a steel company in here in Bangkok. So I worked with Tata for two years. And after I applied for Thunderbird, but before I went to Thunderbird, I went to US for studying English program first at Nepal University. It's about like um, six months. Then six months. And after that, I got the score enough to apply to Thunderbird and then go to Thunderbird. So it was the intensive English courses. Yeah, it was. Okay. For IELTS, TOEFL, did you something like that? Actually, it's about general English. Okay. Okay, and then you move and then move to the to bird. Can you tell me the difference between Chicago and the bird? It's totally different between Chicago. The weather, right? Uh, totally opposite. So the weather is one part of it, and also like it come from the city, move okay. from the city to Chicago, the city, move to middle of nowhere, is the bird. Like God's the bird is very small business school based in Arizona. Phoenix, so like very, very, very small, not Phoenix, in Glendale, very small school, about like, um, their size is might be, not remember the size, maybe like a one, one third of Jula or one hundred okay. of the CSI University, and it has only the MBA and post MBA program, one hundred, so not five, they are still three the students over there. How did you adjust yourself being the, you used to be a city boy before, right? Uh, actually, it's not, I don't have to adjust much because of before I went to the US, my goal and my dream is to have to get an MBA and then just graduate and get a job. Okay. So like uh, when I study in Chicago, that is like um, just a part of my, my journey, just want to okay. finish my English. Uh, and improve my English and get an MBA after that. So I don't have to adjust much. Just like because of yeah, as I said, it's, MBA is my goal. So I just I have to achieve my goal. Otherwise, I don't care. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, talking about the business school in Thunderbird, what would be the benefit of studying there? Uh, Thunderbird. As you know, Thunderbird is well known for international business school. So maybe rank like number one, number two in the world for that international business. So the most beneficial for me is about I know many friends from all other worlds. And I learned the culture from many friends from other worlds. That's this is the most benefit because of some school you learn from a book, but here you learn from friends from like from all other world. And also most of my friends is Everyone came to Thunderbird for the same purpose, same mission, to want to study, explore yourself for international culture, international like mindset. And then it helped me a lot to discuss challenging cultures and learn from each other. And also most of my professors over there at Thunderbird, they will know about international business as well too. So a part of friends I can learn from school, I can learn the knowledge from the professor. And the culture that is very nice, the people know each other. I think I, everyone knows each other because of a very small business school, like about three, four hundred students per year, just MBA students. So we know each other, we hang out together. That is the most benefit for me. And also, like I, I, I think that another one is like, I travel a lot during my, my MBA program. I went to Prague for study abroad, I went to China, so that one is the most benefit for me. Was it part of your exchange program or summer university program? Yeah, it's part of my exchange program. 
something like that. So like I went to Bra for study in Europe and, and also like in, at that time when I was in Bra, um, the class and the course I learned is about the European culture. So that's me like when I learn from the class, I apply outside the class and know is this true or not. That's been helped a lot to export my, my international business. And also when I went to China, I, I study in Beijing University. This is the number one school in China. So that it helped me a lot to export myself in Chinese culture. Like come from Europe, come from US to Europe, Europe to China. So I can see the totally different culture from, from each one. Were they a part of the international program yep. in me? Yep. Okay. And what else did you do for your um for activities? I I bet you didn't only study, right? Oh uh, no no no, not just study. Study like I can count and study just fifty percent of my MBA. Okay. Because of the in the in MBA as you know the MBA is about meeting. Meeting, assignment, meeting, assignment, meeting, work, meeting, work, discussion. discussion. So that you know, that is like um, of the study, and a part of it like um, I, we did a lot of activity. I did a lot of activity so there. Like we have like as I say, from the British well known for culture challenge. So we have many clubs over there. We have the um, African club, we have Thai club, we have Korean club, and Japan club. So. Over there, like, we can learn, we can join the club, become a member. So each club have an uh, activity to for for the member to explore yourself in that culture. Uh, I was to be like I was the president of Thai because Thai is my club one year as well too. Sounds like the airline. No, uh, it was airline, but like uh, Thai is my club. We 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 use like the smile logo because of the people already remember Thai smile. So, so during that time, we, we have all the activities. We have like um, Thai night. We have a, like we call Thai night. Thai night. We have a, we have a cooking class. We have a Thai festival for the students who want to see. And we also like have some in that during that time we have some disaster in here. So we, oh, okay. we try to help the here charity. for charities. We gather money to send back to here and. We did our activities over there, and beside of that, we we hang out, we hiking with friends, we go out because of uh, this place is well known for hiking as well too. People always went hiking outside we, um, and travel. We travel. It's not that far. we we did a lot of road trip over there in the US with my friends. Um, I think that is a part of my study. Where did you go for travel? Uh, we travel a lot, like um, as if you talk about giving about US, maybe one of the most mem memorable trip for me is start from San Francisco. We travel from San Juan. We, we did a lot trip from San Juan to Seattle. We, we drove like I think I don't remember it's about ten days something. We did lot for more than ten days with my friends, and that is the most memorable for me. So. And beside of in US, we travel a lot in Europe during my European abroad program. We went to we went to Paris, we went to Berlin, we went to um, many many cities around in, in Europe. Travel with friends, we hang out together. We took a train. We it's a lot lot of activities going on in Europe, and also like in China as well too. We travel together. Okay, so were there um, were there a lot of ties in there? Uh, actually, for a year, we there were about for my class, for my my, my spring class, it's only one with me. And I'm like it's in four class, about four or five Thai students. So the overall number of students was six or seven students for year. For years. That is not a benefit for us because of it's not about if, if you study in Chicago, you can see a lot of Thai students over there. So the the, the free time, what you're gonna do is just hang out with Thai friends, right? But in here, in, in other words, like uh, you you have to hang out with you another friend from another culture, another country. So that is another benefit as well too. Yeah. Okay. Did you want to share something when you were there? Okay. The good experience. Yeah. Actually, like uh. 
yeah, I have to say that about the good experience. I think the best experience I got from Thunder Birds is about you can see my my link here. Mm. Um, I just got married last two weeks. Congratulations! Thanks, thanks a lot. Mm. Uh, uh, my wife, we I met my wife in Thunderbird. She is my actually she's senior. Like uh, she started in fall fall semester, but I started in spring semesters. So we met each other in Thunderbird. And uh, that's what we call Thunder Couples. Okay. So in, in Thunderbird, we have a term, the people. Because of the school is so small, right? Maybe, maybe most of the people after they graduate got a couple, they become couples. So like um, we call Thunder Couples, and that is a term, the term that we always call. And I think that's the, the most, I think this is the most interesting or beneficial after I graduated, I got my wife. So, it's worth studying there it's in worth, Thunder Bird, it's right? Worth, you it's got worth. a job, you got wife, and you got friends. Yeah, that's, that's what I say, like, uh, I always say to, to my friends or alumni here, like, uh, the Thunder Bird gave me a lot. It's, they gave me not just my education, my friendship, truly friendship for friends, and also I got my wife, and also the last, lastly, I got a job from them. Okay, talking about a job, so what's, how Thunderbird helped you for your career path? Um, I got the, I got the Gallup job from Thunderbird because of Gallup went to school for their the job fair to recruit them. Deeper students. So at that time, I got an opportunity to to with Gala, and I think we met each other. So like after that, I got an offer from them, and that is the another benefit as well. To decide to start. So you decide to go back to work in Taiwan. What about OPT? Uh, at that time, I just ignore OPT. Okay. I don't want to apply anything because the first thing, like um, actually, uh, my my wife has to go back. So. That's Oh, okay. That's and, the main part. And also, and the secondly, like uh, Gallup is my my dream. Like, I should actually I have a person who has a lot of dream. The first dream is got MBA from from US. The second dream, I would like to become a consultant. Okay. So Gallup gave me that opportunity. So that that's mean I have to come back here to to base global office. So yeah, I say yes to them. Yeah, I come back home and, and start working. Third dream is getting married. Yeah. So you got our dream come true, yeah, right? Yeah, dream come true, like, yeah. How jealous! So for the student that would like to help to follow you, follow your dreams, and would like to study in Thunderbird, this is the case, the special case for you guys. And thank you for your time for Torch Education.